Hey, what's up guys? Alir here with a new video, and today we're taking a look at the Beats Pill XL. Now, this has been out for quite some time, and I just haven't gotten around to, to needing a speaker of this size or even wanting one. So, I was in the market for a speaker, and as you guys know, I love Beats, even though I will tell you some Beats products are terrible, some are pretty good in my opinion. I think there's a mixed bag uh, lately. Their newest products have been really, really solid, so I wanted to give this a shot and pick it up. Now, for now, or as of now, I've used a mini jam box as my Bluetooth speaker, and it's been amazing for its size, its portability, and I haven't done a review on it, but I've really enjoyed using it. But I, I wanted a bigger speaker for my new apartment, and this is the one I went ahead and picked up. So picked this up in white, as you can see, at the local Apple store for $299.99, so it definitely is not the cheapest speaker, but as you can see, here in the front, you got a picture of it. Beats Pill XL. Let's go ahead and get to on the side. It pretty much tells you it's the white one, compatible with Apple products or every pretty much every Bluetooth product. Here in the back, again, some more branding, and it shows you a picture of the product itself and some what's included, I believe, in the box. So again, the side, side profile, nothing in the bottom. So let's go ahead and get to it. So let's go ahead and cut the little tape in here. And slide this top part off. So this could be, let me see. This could be a fail here, so there might be tape on the sides. Or not. Alright guys, so I'm not sure I opened this up the right way. I could be, I could have just terribly torn the box up, but it looks like there's tape here on the sides holding the box in place and when you open it up you're greeted with this Beats little package right here so let's go ahead and see what's in it now it seems like I opened it up the right way it seems a little rough with the tape but uh, there was no other option so when you pull out the little packet that's included here in the top it should just be your your typical Beats literature that's included with every Beats product so let's go ahead and see what it is so quick start guide Beat sticker, and of course, all your safety and user guides. So, nothing too special there. Let's go put it to the side. Open this up. Again, more tape, and here on the side, it's pretty cool design of the box. It's some type of styrofoam to protect the actual speaker from getting damaged. Uh, and here you can see the Beats Pill XL, and there is a white wrapper on it, kind of like a MacBook. MacBook Pro from Apple, so let's go ahead and take this out and pull it to the side. Here in the bottom, we do have one more black box. So that should be it for the box. Let's go ahead and, and see what's in here right here. So, All right guys, so you pull it out and it all comes off like this. I am struggling today. So let's go ahead and see what's in here. So in this white box, you do get the power cord. Now this is not gonna be your typical USB power cord because of the fact that the speaker is so big. Let's go ahead and see. As you can see, you do have a proprietary power cord to power up this, this speaker. Let's go ahead and put it to the side. And here you're actually given a power adapter. So not only do you have a power cord, you actually have a power brick as well. So definitely must suck up a lot of juice in order to power up this speaker here. I'm just gonna put these to the side. And then here you're gonna have a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary jack. We will not be using that. So we're gonna put all that to the side. Get to the speaker itself, guys. So let's go ahead and take it out of this, its little wrapper right here. So as you can see here, remove that tape, we have a speaker itself. Now in the front of the speaker, you only have one primary button. And if you look at the actual uh, sticker here, it will show you that I believe you press it once, it's play, pause, press it twice, it'll skip a track. It has a built-in microphone so you can answer calls from the speaker itself. But you do it all based off this one button and different combination of presses. Now on the side, you do have the power button right here. And the back, again, a wide variety of buttons. So as you can see here, you have your auxiliary in to charge it. You have your audio in and audio out. So you actually have two. So you can actually daisy chain multiple speakers or even plug in your headphones to the speaker if you wanted to. 
Um, you do have a firmware update plug. I'm assuming that's to update the actual speaker, the software in it. Charge out. So the speaker does have a USB included, so you can actually charge your phone, tablet, whatever you might have in handy. And of course, your Bluetooth sync button right here. So in the back, you do have this branding. And you do have here on the side the battery gauge. It'll show you uh, the, the battery level of the actual speaker itself, volume up, volume down, and the power button. Interesting. This is the power button. I'm not sure what these buttons are. But I will definitely cover that in the review, guys. So this is a quick look, quick unboxing of the Beats Pill XL. Uh, apologize for the struggle with the unboxing, guys, but this is a big speaker. And it's pretty cool. It has a built-in handle here in the back to carry the speaker around. Um, it's not really light. It's not really heavy either. It just has a good build quality to it. But, uh, guys, I'm excited to... To hear the sound quality of the speaker, check it out, try it out, and I should have a review for you guys soon. So please like this video, please subscribe, and of course, I will see you on the next one. Have a good one, guys. Peace.